Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This reading is for July 12th to the 18th. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, there is an extended reading linked in the description, along with other information that you might find relevant. Um, I'm going to begin your reading by pulling a card from the Moonology deck. Um, I want to see what messages we have from the universe for you for right now for this week and i want to pull a card from the kipper deck as well to see what is manifesting for you what magic is coming into your life either in regards to support with um some type of resolution of something closing up something or a new beginning here for you and then i'll get into the tarot guys okay so virgo Wow, we have emotions are running high. Super moon. <laughs> it's just what everyone wants, isn't it? Emotions are running high, super moon. Okay, that's a nice little heads up there. Let's see what you're being helped with right now, or what um, what is going to be what is going to be coming in for you as a blessing. We'll see. high honor and I feel like this is talking about morals okay this is talking about morals and the way you conduct yourself and what is important to you What is worth, what is kind of worth fighting for and what is not? What do you value? Emotions are running high. What do you honour? And I feel like you're having how to see what it is, what it is that you honour. Recent past energy surrounding your love life present energy surrounding your love life, near future energy surrounding your love life, the energy that is guiding you right now, I feel to get two cards for that, um, something that you need to know, your energy and your person's energy and I feel like either you guys or you do or you or you will be feeling like you're just done, just like done. We've got here ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so this is great. Taurus has just had Ten of Pentacles as well in their reading, um, in their recent past. So this is good. So there was like, there's like some type of stability here for you. And I feel like this is a lot of assurance here. That's, that's like some sort of assurance. The, the, the recent past energy surrounding your love life, we've got strength. So there could have been a Leo, there could have been somebody who was kind of proper as well. There could have been somebody who, you know, conducted themselves in a specific way. Um, somebody, I feel as well here, this could be somebody um, who doesn't succumb to impulses here. Or well, this could have been you who has who has literally been this, you know, like um, has operated in in a way where you've kind of been training yourself, and it's not a head over heart is like a negative and not the right word to use, but definitely here you've been getting you've been getting real with yourself and what you value and and what not, and you might have actually. Um, broke certain habits or addictions as well you might have broke a lot of addictions and a lot of habits you've got very conscious with yourself you've been able to identify a lot of things um 
and you and you know yourself here you're in a position where you know yourself but there could be some pride as well i feel I do feel like there could be some type of pride energy present energy we've got the chariot so there is some forward movement going on here um presently there is some big forward movement and maybe some sort of rebalancing um that is going on in your love life near future energy we've got the five of cups so there is something emotional that is coming up that you're going to need to let go of something or someone or there's going to be some hurt feelings here there's going to be some emotional emptiness there's some emotional purging going on space clearing there but it's always good this card's always good for me because it talks about clearing space and you know you're not going to be in that void for very long there's going to be something new that comes in here there's something new there's a, an emotional shift that's going to be happening for you in the near future the energy that is guiding you wow this is great okay so we've got the eight of swords and we've got the ten of cups so mentally there might still be some type of issues or you might feel stuck not quite know how to handle a situation and that could again be due to that strength energy and that pride and these your morals your personal morals might actually kind of get in the way of making some type of peace um but we've got the ten of cups so emotions are um emotions are kind of really guiding emotional unity is supporting you and guiding you but it's it may be that with this five of cups you may need to release emotional attachments that you have which you may have built up and it may be I don't know why I keep getting that it could be tied to pride or um, your principles or morals or your beliefs this high honor energy something you need to know we've got the page of wands so somebody might come up and say hello there is a new beginning here for you a big new beginning um, your energy is the three of cups you're a very good emotional energy at the moment things are good for you emotionally you feel comfortable confident happy here emotionally secure feel good emotionally um, your person's energy is the queen of cups so they're feeling great they're feeling very loving. They're very, very loving, this person right now. They're very loving. Um, which is good. I'm going to go now and have a look and see what is going on with this Five of Cups, definitely. Um, I want to see what's going on with your person. I want to see what's coming up for you and the advice for you for handling this. Because... Oh, it's always like stressful or annoying working your way through a change but the change is good for you the change is better for you it's going to bring in more happiness and joy it's just getting to that point and I do feel like pride is an issue here um, or morals you know morals are an issue and I feel like you don't want to sacrifice your morals um, but I'm going to go and over to the extended feel free to join me if this resonates if not thank you for watching and see you next week guys